Hello friends, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching, my hair is crazy. Um, I'm really sorry if you hear like a little buzzy noise in the background of this video, but they finally brought us a portable like wall air conditioner. If you've been following our saga with our AC being out, <laughs> that's what the that noise is, but hopefully you don't hear it too much. Um, I went and did my weekly grocery shopping trip. Um, I have these like baby hairs growing in and they're driving me crazy in this video. Don't look at my hair y'all. <laughs> uh, so I went to the grocery store and got some staple things. I try to use as much stuff of, as we already had for our meal plan this week. So I'm going to share you my meal plan and then I'm going to show you what I got at Kroger and Aldi. I also went to GNC because I have a slight problem and I went to Target. So this is kind of like a mixture haul but you know. It is what it is. I didn't. I did pretty good with the with the cost. So today is Tuesday. We're gonna have Parmesan tilapia, yum, and some. I have a delicata squash that really needs to be used up. So I'm gonna roast that in the oven too. I looked at Kroger to see if they have any more delicata, and sadly they don't. So maybe they'll get some more in. Um, Wednesday night, I have a rotisserie chicken, so we're just gonna put that on a big salad after church. Thursday, I'm going to do my spinach spaghetti squash. It's like a spinach Alfredo spaghetti squash. It's like our favorite, favorite thing right now on keto. It's so good, y'all. I've showed it meal um, dinner videos before. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. It's so good. Friday, David's going to be going out of town. Probably he might not be. But I'm going to make myself some jalapeno poppers. And he doesn't really like those. So if he's, if he's home, I'll make him something else. But... Those are so good and they're totally keto friendly. Saturday, I'm gonna make some more chicken meatball, meatballs. I make those like every other week or so, they're really good. And then Sunday, I have some chicken burgers in the freezer that I've had from Trader Joe's forever. I need to try them. I still haven't tried it. They're like chicken lime or chili lime chicken burgers. Um, we're gonna eat those and I need to use them up. Okay, so that's that's our meal plan for this week. Let me turn the camera around to get it off me and my crazy hair and show you what I got at the store. All right, you guys, so here's everything. It's been like a month since I've been to Aldi, no kidding. And so I just loved walking around in there. They had all their Christmas stuff out. Um, I spent $30 at Kroger, $40 at Aldi. So not too terribly bad. Let's start with Kroger. So they do not have the low carb wraps that I've been loving that are three net carbs. These are five. They're still really good, but the other ones were only three and I cannot find them anymore. But these will do. They come with eight in a pack. They're not cheap, but they're fairly low carb. Five carbs for this big tortilla isn't bad. And then they have this. This is the smallest bag ever. This is all they had, but it's the holiday blend of the Starbucks. I usually, I don't think I even got this last year. I really like it, and it's been several years since I've had it. And, you know, it was on sale. It was like $6. Still crazy for that little bag, but I'm going to enjoy that really, really, really a lot. <laughs> I got this bag of jalapeno peppers. They were $1.99 and they are like a bunch of them. That'll probably last me several meals. And then here's our beautiful spaghetti squash. It was 99 cents a pound and this is like a three pounder. So I bought this a couple weeks ago, but I accidentally bought the crunchy. David likes the crunchy. Um, he likes both, but I really like the creamy. If you're on keto, you have to be really careful because most peanut butters, even the ones that say natural, have sugar in them. Kroger Natural Creamy or the Natural Crunchy, they have no sugar. All that's in here is roasted peanuts and salt. I will say it's not as good <laughs> as the ones with sugar, but it's still not bad. So, And it's only $1.79. That's crazy for natural, actual natural peanut butter. Here's the ground chicken that I'm getting to do those um, chicken meatballs with. And then I like to keep these on hand. As we're doing keto, if we ever get a headache, or cramps or anything which doesn't happen a whole lot but if we do these are awesome it really helps so I got a mixed berry this one's my favorite the grape and then I also got a fruit punch so those would be for David and I which if we need them David's completely out of diet on a pepper with cherry I've gotten a lot of questions on how do you find this I can't find this in my area you guys it is. It seems to be a total regional thing. Um, where my in-laws live, you can't find it. It just depends on where you live. But we can get it here, and it's David's favorite. Actually, I like it too. It's really good. Um, 
I think that's it from Kroger. So here's step what I got at Aldi. So this is a long English cucumber. Lucy loves those and so do I. And I used to buy these all the time for the kids, these chicken fries, and it's been a while since I bought them. I don't know. Nate went through a phase of really liking them and then a phase where he wouldn't eat them. But I know Lucy likes them and we're going to try them again with Nate. Hopefully he'll like them, but those are really good. <laughs> I used to eat them too before we went keto. I can vouch they're delicious. Cream cheese was 79 cents, which is a great price. So I got two of those. We always need that. And then we were running low on eggs. So I got another dozen eggs. Lucy and her peppers, you guys know, she loves these colorful sweet peppers. So I got a tricolor pack. And then I also got us some spinach. I like to put this in my salads and also for that um, spaghetti squash thing we make. And then I got some romaine hearts. The romaine hearts last a lot longer than buying it already cut up. Okay, is that it from Aldi? No, I also got some grapes. I just kind of took a bunch out because I didn't want to buy a bunch because it's really only Lucy that eats those. I got a big thing of paper towels. All these paper towels are really, really good. They have some that say compare to Bounty, and then they have some that say compare to Sparkle. I like the ones that say compare to Bounty. They're my favorite. So I went ahead and got a big pack of that. So I went ahead and got an advent calendar. Last year I saw these at Aldi and I was like, oh, it's still a little bit before Christmas. I don't need this yet. <laughs> and then they were gone and I had to order it on Amazon and pay a lot more money for it. So once I saw them this year, I went ahead and grabbed it. It was like $1.29. Lucy loves these. Um, whoop, and I'm just going to throw it. <laughs> so basically, you know, you guys have seen these. They're like, they have the numbers on there where you count down to Christmas. And then each day there is a little piece of chocolate. She loved doing this last year and get them at Aldi. They're so much cheaper. I think I paid almost seven or eight dollars for the one at Amazon. And this was a dollar, a dollar 29, I think. I haven't been to Aldi to get Nate's lemonade. So I got this. This is so good. Compared to the Simply Lemonade, um, it's identical, I think, or very close to. And um, it's like a dollar thirty-nine, something like that. Um, I also got two heavy whipping creams, and I love their whipping cream because a lot of whipping creams have um, carrageenan, carrageenan, something like that, and it kind of upsets your stomach. Um, that's why a lot of people buy it organic, but Aldi's does not have that. At least it doesn't say it does, and it's zero carbs, and, you know, we use a lot of heavy whipping cream around here. Raspberries were 99 cents, and I love them. Lucy likes them, too. And then I got some strawberries. Strawberries have been really high everywhere else. These were, I think, $1.90 or $1.60, something like that. So they're a little bit cheaper. <laughs> At Kroger this week, they were like $3.99 or something crazy. So I got a thing of strawberries. And then this fell apart, but this was a pack of Danimal smoothies for Lucy. And the strawberry explosion, they're fine. The package just broke. And then this totally suckered me in. I think this is like $3.99 or $4.99. This pumpkin marshmallow scented candle. Doesn't this look like a Bath and Body Works candle, you guys? I totally think it does. It smells so good. Um, it's a three-wick candle. It smells delicious. So I thought I would try it and let you guys know how it is. Okay, now here's what I got at GNC. You guys, I'm addicted to these. It is a problem but it gives me so much energy and it tastes really good. I am going to try to limit myself to three a week. So this should last me for two weeks. Um, they were having a special, they were having uh, two for four the last few times I bought it, but that special is over and they're two forty nine dollars each, or you can get buy five, get one free. So that's what I did. I got six for the price of five. <laughs> so my absolute favorite is the sour heads and they hardly ever have it. So I got three of those. And then these were some that I hadn't tried. So I hadn't had the star blast or the citrus twist. I know a lot of people like the citrus twist. So I got those two. And then this one I liked a lot too. This is the pina colada. So I got six of those. They're zero everything. Um, there's no sugar in them and they don't make you crash or anything. And they just, I really noticed a boost on my weight loss when I use these with my day. And I just really, really like them. And then I, I don't know, you guys, all the hype has gotten to me. Everybody is talking about these smart sweets and they're not cheap. They were like $3.29 each, which is just crazy. 
I probably never will buy them again, but I've been sucked in with the hype and I wanted to try them. Now the carb count, the net carbs are not great. They're okay. Um, once you subtract, subtract the fiber, it's like seven carbs for the whole bag, which I won't be eating at the same time. I, I just wanted to taste them and David and I will share them or we'll break them up somehow because it feels like there are a good many in here, but these are the Swedish fish kind. And then these are the sour gummy bears. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I, I, I don't know. I got suckered in y'all. And then last but not least, I ran into target to see if I could find Nate's thermos, which I struck out on. Um, but they had some cute shirts for Lucy. I ended up getting her a 5T, y'all. She's getting so big. The fours are getting kind of tight. So I went in and got a 5. And I like these because they weren't like Christmassy, like super Christmassy. Like she could wear them now. Um, but they had a hint of Christmas. So there's this blue one that says Believe. And then I loved this. The little mittens that say Stay Cozy. How cute. And these were $5.50 each. They had some Thanksgiving ones that I'm like dying to get her. But they didn't have her size. So I'm going to keep checking at Target and try to find it. So this is it. I hope this wasn't too boring. <laughs> if you have tried the Bang Energies, let me know what you think. I can only find them at GNC in my area. But they are so, so, so good. And um, that's going to be it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. You know that I love grocery shopping and it's so much fun sharing with you guys what I buy. If you see anything in your Aldi or anything that you think I would like, please leave it down below. I love trying new things. Okay, that is going to be it for today. I will also submit my receipt to Ibotta, which is a grocery rebate app. And I love it. You guys, I've gotten over $500 from Ibotta in the course of the la last few years I've been on it. It really does add up. So I'm looking for people to join my team. I'll leave my referral link down below if you want to join mine. It's a lot of fun. You like work together to make challenges and stuff. So anyway, that's going to be it for this haul. If you like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.